Hi everyone, Renee here, and this video is my updated morning skincare routine. So my skin has been going through a bit of adjustment, mainly it has to do with the time of year. It's December now, but I'm actually not as affected by the weather outside because at this point, my exposure is really, really limited. I'm shuffling from one place to another um, as quickly as possible. It's actually mainly the indoor central heating that is been really brutal to my skin. I mean, it's just so drying. I mean, not just throughout the day, but there are mornings I wake up and my entire face is chapped. <laughs> it's like so uncomfortable. So one of the more important things in my skincare routine isn't actually skincare, it's my humidifier. This is such a crucial component of winterproofing your skin. The other thing that I love that makes a real difference is just a good, robust, hefty mist. I keep them on my desktop, in my bag, by my bedside, so I could just mist throughout the day before I go to sleep, when I wake up in the morning if things are feeling just a little tight and dry, but they're really great at just creating this little seal over your skin. So as per usual, my AM routine is all about the protection and honestly, I can never have enough antioxidants. I always start off with an icy cold water rinse. I do not need to use cleansers in the morning. I love the cold water in the morning because it's almost gives me this caffeinated jolt, but also it really helps to depuff my puffy morning face. Next step, right after cleansing for me, will always be my vitamin C serum. I'm using Paula's Choice C15 Super Booster. So this is a 15% L-ascorbic acid serum. 15% is a sweet spot for me. It's about as high as I will go. Any higher for me will cause some sensitivity. This one is the closest dupe texturally to my favorite SkinCeuticals um, CE Ferulic. It's really hydrating on the skin, which is great for this time of year. Um, for hydration, I will either use Then I Met Use Giving Essence or Medicaid's Hydrate Intense B5. I'm equally obsessed with both these formulas. They've been so skin saving, skin soothing. They're so gentle and deeply, deeply hydrating and skin plumping. So this year, because I've been traveling so much and taking all these little short trips, but really, really often, I started to actually just layer hydrating serums rather than tote um, a, a big bottle of toner around. It's a luxurious way to go and certainly a real treat for the skin. But you know, during those days when I feel that um, my skin just needs more nourishment, um, more hydration, then I actually will skip the hydrating toner and just layer a good hydrating serum. The Hydrate B5 Intense is probably one of my favorite hydrating serums at this point. It doesn't just hydrate through the deeper levels of your skin, but also make sure that that hydration just holds in there. It also has antioxidants in it and also natural moisturizing factors. It's rich in amino acids, fatty acids, but it's also quite lightweight and absorbs in your skin really beautifully and fast. It does not pill if you apply anything over it. Then I met you, the giving essence is probably what I find myself reaching for the most these days in the mornings. Um, first of all, it is your fermented style essence. So it's like 80% fermented ingredients, got the galactomyces in there, but also I love it during the day because it is packed full of antioxidants and polyphenol rich plant ingredients. So depending on how my skin feels in the morning, I've been doing about two to three layers of this, sometimes more. So when you apply it, it's like putting a comforter on your face. This plumps my skin out, gives it some brightness so it's not so dull looking. Um, and it also really creates a nice smooth texture and also it does not pill. The step that makes me feel like I'm really treating myself is the oil serum step. You guys know I love my oil serums. And this step I feel like it's just really helping me seal all the hydration into my skin, but also I feel like the hydration is also helping all the nourishment of your oil serum kind of sink in and absorb into your skin as well. At this point, this Votary Super Seed Facial Oil is just such a staple for my skin. It's always gonna be um, in rotation. But a recent favorite of mine is this one from Supernal, their Cosmic Glow Oil. It has such a beautiful fresh scent immediately I could smell the blue tansy and the chamomile. This has a beautiful mix of those antioxidant rich oils that I love so much that are also just so luxurious in texture, also give your skin beautiful radiance and absorb really, really well. You know, it's got camellia oil, it's got marula oil, it also has baobab, which is fantastic at just moisturizing your skin. For daytime moisturizer, I am loving Tatcha's Dewy Skin Cream. I mean, first of all, it's got the antioxidants, it's got the green tea, algae, and rice bran um, that is common to all their formulas, but also the way it 
feels. I mean, mainly it's just the way it feels on my skin, how soothing it is, but also it just gives my skin this really lovely glow. It's creamy without being heavy. It's very, very hydrating. It feels very lightweight on the skin. So with the eye creams, the two that I'm currently rotating, Claire's Fundamental Nourishing Eye Butter, which is actually um, the more lightweight eye cream alternative, and Paula's Choice Omega Complex Eye Serum for those days when I feel like I just need more moisturization. Both of them are so cosmetically elegant. One of them is more of like a creamy gel, lightweight, really hydrating, deep puffing, um, soothing, calming around the eyes. And the Omega Complex Eye Cream is just a little richer, but still not heavy. Not so heavy that it would like give, um, cause any puffiness or anything. It's again, texturally so beautiful, um, sinks into your skin really, really fast. It's full of omegas, all those beautiful seed extracts and oils. It's just a fantastic eye cream for anyone who has a lot of dryness under their eyes and it sits really well under makeup, under concealer, um, without, you know, your, without, you know, their being fine lines and cracks increasing. For sunscreen, I'm actually gonna do a video showing you my favorite winter or dry climate, dry skin sunscreens. But um, right now, my favorites that I'm using all every day are obviously Claire's Soft Airy UV Essence and Evie's Daily UV Face Mousse. My exposure to the sun really is very much more limited um, during this time of year, especially because it starts getting dark at around like 2 p.m. Also the dry touch finish sunscreens that work well for me during the summer right now have this ability of making my skin look like it's cracking sometimes. <laughs> the Claire sunscreen just gives the skin that beautiful sort of silky finish that's not greasy and I feel like it really keeps the skin hydrated and moisturized throughout the day as well. It's a fantastic final winter layer um, so your skin doesn't dry out if you're exposed to the elements. It's got that wonderful creamy gel texture to it. It's also just so nourishing. The other thing I love about this is it doesn't pill and it doesn't move around. So it sits under makeup really, really beautifully. Also lips people, like right now I'm feeling it and I feel like if I let my guard down even a little bit, it's gonna get full blown chaffed on me. So I need to do this. Um, to me, when it comes to winterproofing your lips, the Fresh Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Treatment is so good. It is so intense. This is when you need something that's not just going to heal and nourish your lips, but also protect it. But this has made such a big difference to my lips in bringing them back to normalcy and health after being severely chapped and peeling. That's my winter morning routine, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'm wishing you great skin health. Bye.